Stable? Careful, there's a cat. No, I'm sorry. That's a fail. Ooh. The leak it comes. Ah. Uh, okay. To this frame here, come. So, do we know if? Oh, I could see it. So, they leak in a wind-driven rain. Yes. But not in the snow. We're gonna go up. Okay. We'll take a look. I'm gonna show you. See this? So the the flashing's open. See it? So they always finish it down below. But did you feel it? Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, it wasn't installed right. So there's cap flashing underneath there. They went over the cap flashing. cap flashing but what they did was when this wall was built there's a through wall cap inside and they actually went over it so you can actually see it inside that tar is metal when they installed this roof they went over the top of this cap flashing so any water that comes in this wall is has a weep hole underneath this piece the water is weeped underneath this metal into the roof and lands on the ceiling throughout. The detail is the flashing. This is a concrete coping. When water hits it, 80% of the water goes through the wall and we see the white. This white is the lime washing out of the cement. It's called efflorescence. The water penetrates to the top, sits in the wall, bleeds the efflorescence, and gets behind the roof and underneath. This is called modified bitumen. It's a smooth surface torch down roof. And this is a concrete deck. So there's insulation underneath. So it's actually a good roof. When you install modified bitumen, you torch it down to the concrete, you lay it down, and then after that, you do the second ply of flashing underneath the existing through wall copper. The through wall copper has a weep hole on top. So water that penetrates the wall comes from under and weeps out. When you put the flashing over that, anything that penetrates the wall gets under the roof and into the apartments. And as you can see, you can start seeing the mold, the moss, and the moisture in the wall above the flashing. And when they do it, you can see the water gets trapped inside this roof flashing and tries to evaporate. As it tries to evaporate, it pushes the roof flashing out and creates what we call mole runs. Mole runs are these little bumpy wrinkles that actually are the vapors underneath the roof trying to escape, but they can't. So when I look for leaks, I usually look for where these lines start. So when I look and I see that it's pitched that way, I'm guessing there's a drain back there. So the drain is over there. The water penetrates through the wall and down. But also, this is a curb. These are for the kitchen, for the air inside the kitchen below. When it's not finished up against the wall and treated correctly, you can actually see that the cement is starting to pop out. When the water gets into the wall, it pushes the cement out and creates a crack in the wall in between the roof and the curb. And this whole area directly above the door that's leaking is wide open. We could stick our hand in between the roof and the curb. So I think we found our leak. There's a huge crack and the bricks are actually popping out of the wall. So every time the water hits, it goes through the wall, behind the flashing, pops out the flashing, creates the cracks, and then as it is underneath, it starts to expand and contract, delaminate the brick. The roof starts to split away from the delaminated brick, and you have a huge hole. Somebody put tar on the modified bitumen, 
and they tried to repair it with mortar and coated it. But every time the water hits, it goes straight into the door below and the apartment below. And the progress starts from the top of the wall, through the coping stone, into the wall, behind this roof flashing, through the copper cap. This is exposed, it breaks open. When it expands and contracts, it creates its own way for the water to weep. And this is what people do. So what they do is they think that it's the pointing. Pointing is the mortar between the two bricks. When someone comes in and they try to fix the pointing, sometimes they just do tuck pointing, which is taking mortar and just putting it over. As you could see, you could actually see the water is inside the wall. The water stays in the wall, goes in behind the cap flashing, behind this roof, and lands below and it creates all the water and it breaks down the entire system. This is a weep hole. This is newer flashing, but the person who installed this roof went over this exact detail below. So this little weep hole is also underneath. The first person who built this wall had this exact detail. The roofer came up underneath, covered this weep hole and this cop underneath, and the water goes behind, under this flashing, and the water goes into the roof. The roof itself is actually in very good shape. The details on the wall are what is making it fail. And it's only failing at the walls, where it creates holes and water goes straight in. This is repairable. What you'd want to do is remove the flashing get it underneath the old cap flashing, fix this detail, and you can pretty much stop all the water and make this roof last for a long time. Modified bitumen torch down is a great system to use. You can use torches on concrete decks, but it becomes iffy having a live torch with propane. They do make modified bitumen with adhesive. When you use adhesive, you don't have to use the flame and it makes it easier. So we pretty much figured the walls out. I recommend that people cover the top of the wall, the concrete, the water won't penetrate through. And if we fix this flashing, we can actually fix this roof leak without messing with the actual installation. The seams are done well, it's coated and it's actually maintained pretty well. If you look at the flashing, you can see the wrinkles at the wall and you can see the damage it's doing from the inside out. The wrinkles in the wall are created from the water from the top that comes behind the copper into the weep holes below and it's just taking the flashing out. It will sit in there for a long time and it won't do anything until you cut it out.